Cash Call, everybody, back again for another week. Uh, my co-host, Brian Curtis, I'm Dale Archdeacon. Uh, my co-host, Brian Curtis, is not here today. He is on vacation uh, because HR did not inform him that we don't allow vacations around here. But, you know, that happened. So we're just going to deal with it. But today we're interviewing a guest friend of mine who happens to be a friend of mine, Mike Cuevas, the marketing dude, video marketing branding expert guy who's been around for a long time, sold a lot of real estate, helped a lot of people build brands and do video. And so I'm honored to have him on here today on Cash Call. Mike, welcome. Thank you for having me, Dale. I missed you. I haven't seen you in like a year in person since COVID. I know. And um, it's been a while. So I'm happy to have you and uh, happy to have value for you guys today. It has been a while. And uh, everybody, in case you don't know who, uh, well, why don't you introduce, tell people what you do, what your specialty sure. is and how you help them. Sure. Um, well, I got licensed in 2002 when the dinosaurs ruled the earth. And um, I stopped actually selling real estate in 2017 when I had a life crisis and started over. But I've always been very good at generating business. Um, I am not good at prospecting. I never was. Um, I am not good at um cold calling. I wasn't good at a lot of that stuff. Scripting. I was just, it just wasn't my, my style, but I had to generate, I, it doesn't mean I was bad at real estate. Right. So I've always attracted uh, content. And what I've done is just sort of used video to make me more approachable, personable, and more importantly, top of mind and unforgettable. Yeah. Um, and with video, there's so many different ways to use it. Um, so, and the answer is going to be different for everybody, but I'm sure we're going to dial into that. So I speak realtorish. Um, I bleed it. And uh, I just know how to script, edit, and distribute it. That's what we do today is we basically build people's personal brands uh, with video and become their marketing dude. And we take care of all the grunt work for them. That's fantastic. So all of you Cash Call listeners and avid fans might be wondering, Dale, why do you have a video marketing guy on here other than the fact that he is your friend? Here's why. is because, listen, in my coaching and training company, Smart Inside Sales, I can tell you one thing is that doing, vi why do you think I'm here everybody? Do you think I'm here because I just wanna talk to Mike uh, or because I love hosting a podcast every week even when I don't feel like doing it sometimes? No, I'm here because I think I know everything and I know that if I get on here and I talk about stuff and I make videos and you like it and you're entertained and you bond with us, you're much more likely to come and inquire about training with my company. And I'm going to tell you this, this is another reason why Mike is here, is because when people go out on the internet and they watch my videos and they consume my content and they observe my amazing hair, when they do inquire about training or coaching, they are so much more preconditioned to think we know what we're doing and to like us, right? And, and those conversations are so much easier, right? Mm -hmm. It's like... Hey, Dale, I've been watching your videos. You're so smart. You know lots of stuff. Where do I send the money so you teach me smart stuff too? Like that's what happens. And so this is what Mike does, part of what Mike does. I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but part of what you do for your clients, right? For your agent. Clients. Yeah. The, and you hit it on the head is that with the second someone approaches video uh, to sell something, you're just a salesperson on a soapbox. But the second you approach video as a way, hey, get to know me, that's when you start attracting. And here, here are the stats, like 70% of people will lurk on your website prior to calling you. And especially if you're doing prospecting or lead generation, the video is just going to make you more approachable. People will only retain 10% of what comes out of your mouth or 10%, or which means they forget 90% of it. But there's a reason why your about page on your website is a number it's the most visited page on anyone's website. And it's because people want to know whom they're about to do business with before they actually call them. I want you guys to put yourself in the consumer's shoes and be like, all right, be honest with yourself. The very first question when we're thinking about hiring, consulting, or exploring anything we haven't done before, like working with a real estate agent, a lender, an investor, whatever it may be, trust me, the first thing that people are doing is they're looking up their reviews. It's the same reason why before you book a vacation on Travelocity, you don't do it before you read the reviews. And before you get the opinions of other people and look on the website and explore the pictures, look at the pool, look at the daycare center you're going to put your kids in, see how far the damn beach is. You look at all of that stuff online. It's no differently when you have an individual. So if you were to take two different agents right off the bat, and they're both running the exact same marketing campaign, say they're buying leads from a service, right? Well, two people will get calls. When you get a call back, both of those consumers are more than likely going to come back 
and look you out and check you out, even before they would reach out to you. But who do you think has a higher likelihood, Dale, to convert that deal? The agent that has a website that is an extension URL of their brokerages site, which is just a picture of them in their glamour shot, and it has their phone number and how with many their years horse. they've been in the business. Yeah, with their with horse their, or their favorite or, cat. How many years they've been in the business, right? Yeah. And it's a glamour shot. It's 15 years old, let's be honest, <laughs> right? It's like my, it would feel, who the hell is that? That's not the person I called. Um, but, um, or the agent that has like, a video on their about talking about like how they got into this page. They have a video on every page There's a homepage video. They might be in their like jeans or just personable, right? Yeah. Because people get to know you. So who's going to win that deal? Yep. 90 plus percent of the time, it's going to be the person that has more content. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and so why everybody do I have Mike here talking about this? Because, you know, I wish we had a crowd in front of us. Like if we were on stage, I could be like, all right, everybody. So those of you who have heard, you should be doing video and branding yourself, raise your hand and the entire room's hands would go up. Yeah. And then you'd say, great. Now of you people, how many of you are doing it actively and did it this week? Boom. Yeah. 90% of the hands go down, right? So Mike, why are agents not executing some shred of doing this and why don't they do it consistently if they do? Immediate gratification is number one all day. Um, when you're using video, you're building a brand. You're not chasing leads. And they do work hand in hand, but marketing and advertising are two totally different things, right? Prospecting and marketing are two totally different things. We market to stay on top of mind. And it just depends on what type of uh, business you're in. But ultimately, I believe real estate is just a giant popularity contest because 80% of business comes from people we already know, we use in the past, or we personally meet. Sometimes that's at an open house. Other times it's at, um, oh my God, I haven't seen you in 20 years. Like, oh, you're buying a house? You're an agent. Great. When you do video consistently, you become more unforgettable. And the more people who know what you have uh, and what you do, the more opportunities and conversations that you're going to have. So nothing I ever do is based upon theory. It is mathematical, much like what you guys do. You guys know when you're running a funnel, a lead, or you're prospecting, you know what your metrics are, right? Yeah. And there's a mathematical formula there. You know that if you make 10 calls, you're going to get one yes or whatever that may be based upon your method. And Brian's is so good at that kind of stuff. Oh, um, yeah. me, I'm, I'm horrible at that. However, with video, I approach it the same because it is based off of numbers. And 10 to 15% of people who see your content or that you know, 10 to 15% of your guys' Facebook friends right now, they're moving over the next 12 months. Most of them don't know it yet. Hmm. I moved last week. I didn't know I was moving 15 days ago. <laughs> I just moved on Friday. Life, life happens. Okay. Yeah. And in a recession, life is going to happen a lot more. And 80 plus percent of those people are going to close with the first agent that they come into contact with, much of which is the first agent they think of when they think of real estate. Yeah. Now, let me drag, let me drag you back. Oh, go ahead. Finish your point. 100% of the people that see your content have a referral for you because everyone knows someone who's moving in the next 12 months. I think you're right. I'm just racking my brain thinking, who would I know that might have a, a referral? Um, or who, let me think of the people that I've spoken to over, you know, my interactions. And it sounds like probably, yes, there would be, I'm sure somewhere in a conversation, somebody was talking about moving. Um, let me drag you back to the initial question, Mike. Mm -hmm. Why aren't more agents consistently branding themselves or producing content to publish onto the internet or wherever? Okay, so I'll get to logistics. First one is, Never before in my life has I seen a six inch device make a 240 pound man crumble at the knees. All right. <laughs> and seriously, we overthink this stuff. Like, oh, yeah. why do we get so scared of it? Folks, yeah. this isn't hard. It's just new. We're just not used to it. And yeah. most of us don't view ourselves as a brand. But I will promise you that if you're not the person on video, either one of my clients is, and they're infiltrating your database every single day. Yeah. So unfortunately, it's not optional. Uh, that's sort of rule number one. You have to do it. But when I went on my first listing presentation, Dale, it was four years after I started real estate. I got into 22. I was 22 years old. No one's going to give me a yeah. listing. I was a buyer's agent for the first three or four years, right? Yeah. Um, so when I got my first listing, even though I was four years into the business then, I was so scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to present. It was like 500,000. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy, <laughs> right? Yeah. But did I not go to the damn appointment? You showed up. Did you I show up? I showed up and I didn't right get it. I didn't get it, yeah. but I learned what I did wrong, right? And it's no differently with video. There will be a learning curve to it, and it's no longer optional, in my opinion. Um, you have to do it. 
And the second uh, reason is, is that the logistics of it, most people can't get their heads around. Oh, I need an editor. I don't like the way I'm going to do this. I have a face made for radio. I'm too boring. <laughs> Folks, that's all just coaching and content creation at the end of the day. Strategy. Um, you could contact a company like us or there's a million others out there, I'm sure. But it's you have to figure out what that is looks like for you. And then you just have to start doing it. Yeah. Um, it gets easier as you go. But Absolutely. editing, distribution, most people come up with excuses before they allow themselves to start instead of looking for solutions. So I'm assuming Currently, that somebody, I'm assuming somebody like you, if I, if they came to you and they were like, dude, I don't know what the hell I'm going to say or what I'm going to talk about. I have no experience doing this and I hate the way I look on <laughs> so camera. what I like doing. Yeah. Yeah. You could be like, listen, here's a very simple, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start here. It's like, we're going to, you know, it's like me taking my fat ass to the gym. I don't start with seven days a week. I start with one day a week. Right. If I can get there one day and I can do some things, that's where I get started. So do you right. have kind of a, do you have a weight loss? Do you have a marketing plan for those of us who are afraid of the gym? Yeah. Um, everyone sort of starts in the studio, like where you see me at right now, you know, a video is a video, but at the end of the day, you're telling a story when you're ongoing content creation and, um, we don't need to sell your stuff. We need to remind people what you sell. And there's a major difference in that. Um, the main thing for videos, for most people, you either have the skills to know how to do your own editing or you don't. And if you have editing, every video looks good. So my advice would be for those of you that don't, um, are worried about the way they might appear and they're really worried about the impression they're going to make of their video. Well, then you got to go out and hire out the services, get an editor, make it look good. But um, you either do it with your budget or you do it with your time, right? So you got to figure out what that might be like um, for you first. To determine what your strategy is, is based upon what you're doing. So why are we doing video, right? And there's a million different videos to do. Right. But you got to start with the end in mind first. If in your guys's world, you guys are, whether it's a call prospecting, whether it's whatever you may be doing, you have an end goal in mind. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to go out to get listings. So yeah. with video, it's no differently. Yeah. If your goal is to go out and convert more of the leads with your videos, then I'm going to create a conversion video package. I'm going to have certain videos that help sell my stuff that I would use for retargeting. But if I was using video to go out there and I just want to build my brand with it. I would probably have a totally different strategy. Yeah. So I could give you a couple examples um, of that, if that helps yeah. people sort of. Um, yeah, go for it. So let me think of one I did. Uh, here's a fun one I, 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 I did a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> um, so this guy, um, mortgage broker. Okay. This is where everyone, I'm sure a lot of people relate this. This is your typical classic story happens every day. Mortgage broker. He comes to me and he's like, hey, Mike, his name is Mike Prenesti. He's got a. His logo says, you're a mortgage planner. Dude calls me up. He's like, Mike, I'm the most unorganized guy ever. Like, I am not a planner. Like, I don't even like showing my logo because he felt like a fraud. He went yeah. to Fiverr. He got a logo done. He got his little initials and he calls himself the planner. So that little thing was what was holding him back. I end up finding out this dude's a Star Wars fanatic, like obsessed. Nice. And I'm like, dude, what do you want to do with that? Like, can I tie this into your branding, your video strategy? We ended up rebranding him as the Rebel Alliance Mortgage Team, redid nice. his brand, but now he's your Star Wars lender. Because I know what his brand is, now I know how to script him. Yeah. So his content strategy is short form, TikTok reels, and he'll do talking about mortgage mortgages, uh, slashing interest rates with a lightsaber. He wants, he wants to cut the fat out of the loan process. Well, let's do it as job of the hut, but nice. let's be the Yoda of real estate. He calls me back a week later. He goes, hey, Mike, I don't know. I can't get this idea out of my head. Like, I just can't get out of my head. I don't know if I'm more excited about the fact I get to dress up as Darth Vader and talk about interest rates or that the fact my wife has let me finally buy the Darth Vader costume. <laughs> I go, dude, you hit it on the head because he has to be excited about that. I can't carry that out, but he right. can. And there's a different video strategy for every individual because there's no one else like you in the world that exists. And that's pretty cool. Yeah. The only awesome. unique selling proposition I believe we have as real estate agents is our personal brand. And that's ultimately what people hire. They're not hiring your broker. They're not hiring your experience. They're hiring the way you make them feel and how they relate to you. And video allows you to do that without saying it. Yeah. That's great, man. 
Um, and for everybody wondering, again, another reason why I have Mike on here to talk about this stuff is because e even if you're not using it for direct lead generation, you need this for lead cultivation. You need this for nurture cultivation. 100%. You need it for your sphere of influence cultivation. And you need it because those 97% of the leads that are in your database right now that aren't ready to give you an appointment, that aren't ready to meet with you right now, that aren't ready to buy and sell with you, you know, beyond just your sphere of influence and past clients, you need to be producing this stuff so that those people can see it as well because that will precondition them to have a conversation with you. Again, I hate to sort of pull back the kimono and, and expose this, but I just want to be honest. We do a ton of content and most of that content is for our database of 14,000 people, right? Who are currently incubating, who maybe aren't quite ready for uh, scripting and dialogue training or aren't quite ready to hire a new ISA or aren't ready to scale their businesses and improve their recruiting. But they're seeing our content. They're seeing me. They're seeing us, the team. This is, uh, again, another thing that Mike and his company help you do. That's why you need it, right? It's not about like, oh, I'm slashing prices on mortgages and all of a sudden it's going to cause a mass rush of the phone to ring because I did that one video. But you might get some, uh, you might get one or two who are, who are going to raise their hand as a result of that. And it's for the other 150 of them who are still cooking, right, in the cooker. That's, that's what this is about, right, Mike? 87% of people hire the first person they come into contact with. And it's typically, I don't know the exact number on this, but it's usually the most, the person they reach out to first, which is always the result of who they think of first. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the, it, it, it's, it's video is more impactful way to communicate when it comes down to, right. So like, let's just back up and just go through an example. So people I'll hammer this point down back in Dale. Do you remember um, Facebook back in like 2002? I vaguely remember it in 2002. Yes. It was like Twitter. Like there was no pictures. It was just words. Oh no. I don't I, remember that. I wasn't even so like on there. Was, I wasn't on there until there were pictures. All right. So before there, before you got on, there was just uh tax. It was like Twitter. Right. And then social evolved into pictures and a platform called Instagram came up. And now every single platform is virtually hammering video. And there's three different ways that we typically communicate. Right. And video is just the most impactful way to do it. That's why it builds brands faster than anything. That's why it generates a ton of attention because video has all the components necessary to make an impact or impression on humans' brains, okay? And how people intend communication is really simple. 90% of it is based on tonality and body language, okay? If I'm like this, you're gonna hear me. You remember saying, this is why I'm doing this right now, guys, a hammer a point. If I talk like Ben Stein this entire presentation, you guys might not listen to the rest of this call, or you might be get really bored. And if I talk like this, like you're going to fall asleep, right? So you can't portray tonality and body language in a text message, really, can you? No. Can no. you really do that on a phone call? Are you really like, is this guy rolling his eyes at me right now? <laughs> you know what I mean? But you can absolutely do that on video. And it's not so much of the content that you're saying. That's where everyone fumbles. It's how you're saying it that people remember. There's a reason why I called my company Real Estate Marketing Dude. Dude is a very good resemblance of my brand because you can hear I'm talking. I'm just a dude at the end of the day, right? right. And some people will like it, some not. I'm not scared to be myself. But regardless whether you like it or not, you will not forget me. True. You are unforgettable, Mike. I'll give you that. But That's yeah. the point. I agree with what you're saying. Um, good. So if you guys aren't doing it, we've talked about what's in the way. It sounds like you need a simple plan, a simple executable plan that you can do uh, consistently, right? That's what matters. And just find something. Um, listen, man, just rip people off. Like go and look at what other realtors are doing. And it doesn't have to be just in your market. You know, I was just talking to a consulting client uh, uh, yesterday, actually. And uh, he, he has um, different ideas for wanting to generate leads and wanting to build their brand. And, um, and I said, hey, great. So what are the, what are the biggest uh, teams doing in your market uh, currently? And he's like, nobody's doing anything. So I'm just going to make it up. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We don't do that. Go, to look at a diff go look at other markets where there are big people killing it. 
and look at what they're doing, right? And come up with a basic plan for execution. And then if you have somebody like Mike in your corner who can help you get that set up, help you identify what your personal message and brand is, then you can execute, you know, consistently. I made the joke about the gym. I went to the gym this morning. I said to my trainer, hey trainer, I haven't done shit since the last time I saw you. And I said, initially I felt bad about that, but then I realized that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to do the shit I with you that I won't do at home. So I feel good. Let's do it. Right? Yeah. Right on. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, do you, you can't, don't overthink the whole video thing. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, I always tell, um, here's a couple ways I get over the reservation, at least with, with clients. So there should be no reason the shooting of a video is ever like make you nerve wracking because you control who sees it. So sure. think about it. Like, why am I, if I'm sitting here by myself shooting a video by myself and I'm all nervous shooting it by myself, that's just straight up weird. <laughs> right. Like, do you get nervous by yourself? All your, this is the only difference. It's just in your mindset. Everyone's no, like, dude, oh. Listen, I get nervous too. I, I've been doing these react. I just started doing these reaction videos where like yeah. we go onto YouTube and we find people <laughs> across like doing. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. And so I just like grab the video. I start talking over the very first one. You know how long it took me to do the very first one? Like four hours for like a 20 minute video. And how many have you done? Now I've done three. By the third okay. one, I'm just yeah. like, click, turn it on. Hey, it's Dale, blah, blah, blah. This is what I'm watching. I start watching and I talk about it. Right. And did you now, ever watch the replay? Uh, I did third one. I've watched the first couple. I haven't watched Correct. the third one. I don't really care. Right. So now I'm like, I told my marketing person, I'm like, Psh, I can bang out like five of these in a day now pretty easily. Right. I'll just find a video, play it and talk about it. You chop it up. Like you have to do it to get to that like level of comfort. But yep. to be honest, the first one and I do video all the time. Right. I do, I'm on the video all the time and I speak from stage. The it was a new one, style of video. Yeah. New style. Yeah. I was totally nervous. I was like, Ooh, is the lighting right? Is the camera right? Like, I don't know what to say. I'm weird. Like being weird, you know, cause I feel weird, but you got to just get over that. You're human. We all have those. And look, nobody wants to get up and uh, shoot a video in the morning, including myself. Like, I don't want to get up and shoot a video. Like that's the right. last thing I want to do. Right. I do it because it generates income. <laughs> so, um, my yeah, Megan yeah. marketing, my Meg, mark, my marketing person Megan just wrote in the chat that first video was the first time I ever saw you nervous. Thank you, Megan, for reinforcing my shame here. That's fine. That's all right, but you overcame it, and now you're telling a story about it. Like that's how it works. Yep, exactly. All right, so Mike, thanks for coming today, man. Why don't you tell everybody where they can find you, sure. how to get in touch with you. And uh, we endorse Mike. He's been doing this a long time. He knows what he's doing. If you want to get into video, into building your brand, every one of you should. You all know you need to do it. Um, reach out to him. Where can they find you? Sure. Uh, you guys can visit my website. It's called Real Estate Marketing Dude. There's a bunch of free content on there. Watch the blog. Check out the podcast. Um, we have courses. But uh, if you need someone to do it for yourself, we either script, edit, and distribute your videos or we do it for you or we'll train you and your team, your videographer, your kids to do it all. So we're a one-stop shop. Um, some people um, want us to do it for them. Some people want us to train them. So just whatever you need, if it's video and personal branding and you don't want to do anything that's like very cookie cutter, we're a little bit outside the box with that. And uh, we generate attention. We don't generate leads. We generate attention because attention attracts clients. Yep. Absolutely. That makes sense, man. Excellent. So, uh, you know what? Let's do this. We have two minutes. Let's do a little Q&A, everybody, right? Before we let Mike go. Does anybody have any questions for Mike about producing video, how you can use it in your video or business, how it might drive more business to you? Um, chat in and uh, let me see if there's something in Q&A here. Okay. It's just Megan telling me the chat was disabled earlier. Uh, we'll wait and see if anybody posts any questions in here, Mike. Um, but Mike, how do you, do you have any kind of, um, what free stuff do you recommend? Thank you, Jeffrey Chabot. What free stuff do you recommend? Hey, guess what, Jeffrey? There's an entire YouTube full of free stuff yeah. and Instagram full of free stuff. And you know what, man? I actually made a meme the other day. Do you remember the Friday, the movie mm -hmm. by Felicia? There's yeah. this really cool. Chris Tucker. Meme. Yeah. Smokey. There's really, yeah. There's this really cool meme where Smokey's like, Right. And she's sitting there like trying to talk to them. And I, I put it across the top, got free training question mark. And uh, so we haven't used that one yet, uh, yeah. but we will. So anyway, about free stuff, Jeffrey and everybody else listening, free stuff is fantastic. 
go if you don't have a budget get yourself started on free stuff and then when you figure out that free stuff can only get you so far like scripting and dialogue or coaching or video marketing branding kind of stuff then you come and you see experts like us who can get you to where you want to get to which is sure. selling a lot of real estate and making a lot of money yeah um, jeffrey there's a bunch of free stuff on my website just click on the learning center and it'll be like four or five webinars everything from youtube uh, optimization with video and attracting clients from that to conversion different types of videos to just being unforgettable with it nice um uh, Charlene Sandoval asked, how long does it take to make, to have an impact? Like that question. Okay. So here's, uh, this is like very similar along the lines of how long does it take to, what's my ROI going to be with video? So I'll walk you guys through this formula. If you want to write this down, first off, when you're creating content, you're building a brand off content creation. It's very hard to track. You're not going to know which exact video that brought them into your world, but it's more of a combination and a cultivation of them. So when I'm working with people, or I, people always, the number one question I get is how long does it take to create impact, have a ROI and all of this? So video goes twofold. It goes off of first, you got to create the content, but then you have to distribute it. Half the battle is people are only doing one or the other, <laughs> right? So uh, you got to distribute the video. If you're not putting your videos in front of the right people, then it doesn't work. But here's a simple way for you to go ahead and get your head around it. Um, if you're just building a brand, two videos a month is all you need. You don't need to do 40 videos a month or do any of that. It's not more content. It's more impact with the content you're creating. So I have a guy that's doing one really, really good neighborhood tour a month. And that video might take him two and a half hours, but he's only doing one a month. So he has to put more impact into it. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the frequency um, that you're applying, it's very simple. Every video that you create, you're going to fully distribute. You're going to video email it to your database, your networks, your lead list. You're going to post it to all your social profiles, and then you're going to repurpose it. So what I like to tell people is don't look at it. If I told you you're doing 24 videos, most people get overwhelmed. <laughs> right. Okay. But if I say you're doing two a month for the next 12 months, you're not overwhelmed anymore. It's very consumable. It's just coaching. So two videos a month. Okay. So let's go through the distribution. Every one of those videos goes to your personal page on YouTube, goes to your IG account, your LinkedIn account. Every one of those videos will get video emailed to your database. Every one of those videos should get about $5 of ad spend promoted to your database as well as your lead list or whatever other prospecting um, that you're doing, then every video goes on your YouTube channel and gets multi-purpose to your website. Do that 24 times a year because 10 to 15% of your views will be people who are moving this year. And then 100% of your reviews are people who have a referral for you. The question is if they're going to do either or. So it is mathematical. Um, when you add up your number of views, when I bring an agent onto my team, they have to have a network because I know exactly how to activate it because everyone has a freaking database. It's not if they're going to move, it's when. Right. So when you start getting on their radar right now, it just comes up how many relationships you have. Yeah. If I have 1,000 people who see my videos, 150 of them are moving this year. And that's 100% accurate. It's not theory. So half of them are going to be renting. So let's say 75 sales. But all 100% of them have a referral for me because when people are moving, it's highly conversable. Everyone's like, oh, I'm moving. I'm stressed out. It's emotional. You're talking about it. It's such a referral-based business. Plus, it's the biggest investment most people ever make. You don't buy that and find that person online. You find them through a referral. Yeah. So, so many times, um, usually $600,000 of real estate is a break-even point for your annual video costs, at least for ours. Mm -hmm. If you cannot sell more than $600,000 in real estate after 24 pieces of content, you're in the wrong business. True. You're not going to make it yeah. because you're going to have 40,000 views, 30,000 views, 50,000 views over the course of time. That's being conservative over a 12 month time frame. It's going to be much higher than that. So much like lead generation, attraction is mathematical, but if you're not consistent with it, it doesn't work. Yeah. Just like about anything else, just like yep. lead gen, mailers, door knocking, whatever, running events. If you're not consistent, it's not going to work. So, you know what I, uh, just to close this out, Mike, everybody, um, Megan, can you post Mike's uh, email address in the chat uh, for everybody so that they can reach out to him directly and ask any additional questions that they have? Um, uh, I don't, I think I lost my point. Oh, um, it, you got to get this stuff started. You have to get it done. And have creating some kind of executable plan that you do and just do you're, you're stacking this stuff on there 
And it's like, you know, I, so I used to prospect FISBOs and expireds all the time, right? That's how I built my business, but I had no CRM. I didn't market to these people. I didn't produce content. I had no brand. They couldn't see me otherwise. And so if they didn't list with me in the first two weeks of me getting their contact information, I had moved on. And so I wasted so much potential business by not cultivating that brand awareness or or um, even visibility among those people. So that's what I want to tell you guys. Even if you're a hardcore outbound prospector, whatever you are, if you aren't branding yourself consistently in different channels and putting it in front of people, you're wasting an enormous amount of opportunity and energy. So. Mike, thank you so much for coming, man. I know you're a busy guy. I'm sure everybody appreciated having you here. Everybody, Mike's email address is in the chat. We'll also post it into the, um, uh, the, the what is it, the message, what, what's the, when you, when you run a live on Facebook, the comment section. Comment section. Jesus, the comment section below. <laughs> All right, Mike, good seeing you again, man. Hopefully I'll see you at one of these live events soon. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, visit the site or reach out. They'll give you guys my uh, info and uh, pleasure to be here. Honored. Appreciate it, guys. See you, man. Thanks for joining us, everybody. See ya.